oh, it worked. I can't believe it, but it worked. All, all the chemicals work perfectly. Now, as long as it doesn't explode, everything will be okay. All right, but if it explodes, what's going to happen to my grade? Oh, who cares about grade, Naomi? This is all about science. I care about my grade. If we get a bad grade on this, my GPA tubes and I lose my Pell Grants. Scientists always face privation. Ugh, you make me so mad using your big words that nobody knows what they mean. Uh, but the best thing about this is that we're facing this together. Uh, cementing our relationship. Don't Whoa, you see? Relationship? That's kind of a big word. Oh, so what are we? Just friends? Lab partners? Aren't you my cuddle buns? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm your cuddle buns. <laughs> Until grades become a part of chemistry. What was that last part? I said we have great chemistry. Oh, <laughs> well, what about this Friday night? Want a movie, me? Oh. I have got gas in my car this time. I'll have to ask my dad. He doesn't want me seeing a hot guy like you. Oh, well, he will have to get used to this hot guy like me. He can't stand in a way of her love. Love? Love is not a word in his vocabulary, but beatdown is. You forget that he owns a gym and he's kind of buff. Besides, I'll be wearing my glasses and a bow tie. It's called protective coloration. Uh, like the animals, right. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, um, I gotta go. I'll let you know about Friday. Oh, oh Naomi called me a hot guy. I can't believe it. This has to be the best day in my life. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Naomi, where have you been? I've been waiting 10 minutes for you. I have places to go and things to do. And people to meet. I didn't say that. So why don't you just sit down? I've ordered some calamari and you've come just in time. <sighs> Sorry. I had to still kiss up to that dork Urban so I could get an A in chemistry. <laughs> Did he call you that name again? Huddlebuns? Yeah, he called me that. It was all I could do to keep my lunch down. <laughs> Did he ask you out again? Yeah. But don't worry, I told him my dad doesn't want me dating him because he's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> and he bought that? Yeah, watches too much History Channel. They have all these shows where scientists are heroes. Well, if your dad doesn't like him, it's not because he's a hero. It's because he instinctively doesn't like twerps. <laughs> but he likes you. So he likes me enough to give me that job? Whatever his darling daughter wants, his darling daughter gets. So I've got the job then. One more dear daddy moment and he'll be putty in my hands. So what you're telling me is that it's not a for sure thing yet. I talked to him. You know, he says he's thinking about it. Let's talk about Friday. A movie maybe? You know I've got the homecoming game on Saturday. So what about an early show? <sighs> Anything for my cuddle buns. Oh my gosh, you jerk. I hate you. I totally hate you. Calamari is getting cold. Oh, right. What are those? Just three front row tickets to the homecoming game for you, your mom, and that specially great dad of yours. <gasps> You're awesome. You're great. I love you <laughs> so much. Oh my gosh. Do you think we're safe here? Uh, yeah. Naomi doesn't have any classes in this building. She can't see us together. Not just because she's my best friend but because a whole future is at stake. Well, save the drama for theater department. It's only a job. It's not just a job. It's a start of a new career. And a guy can take personal training all the way to the top, even be a celebrity. So did you or did you not get the job? Well, don't worry about it. It's, a, it's almost a done deal. She's daddy's little girl and I'm playing it like a violin. Sounds like you got it all figured out. Well, you better, because I'm not a cheap date. <laughs> I've noticed, <laughs> worth every penny. So how about those two front row tickets to the game? My brother's in town, and I told him all about you. Don't worry, anything for the love of my life, oh. and I'll make sure I crush someone right in front of you. Oh, late for class. Can't wait to see you seriously crush someone. Yes! I got the tickets. So are you free on Saturday? Great, Arvin. By halftime, I'll make you forget all about Naomi. 
Ok, ho! Oh. Naomi thinks I'm hot, and Lana loves me too. Screw science, gonna become a gigolo. <laughs> <laughs>